uh, ways in uh, bringing in families with young children that were not members of the synagogue, but lowering the barriers for entry for them, just to bring them to the door. That was our first year, and we started with a program that we called Kutkan uh, The second year, and I'm going to explain about it. In the second year, we uh, maintained the Kutkan Abdallah. We uh, 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 increased the frequency. It was one time the last year, so now this year two times. But then we looked into Shabbat as a whole and into those families with young children and in how to uh, bring them into the experience of Shabbat in real time, when Shabbat happens, uh, throughout the year. So we created uh, other experiences for those families and this is all the product of the work of the ELT, the Educational Leadership leadership team which are uh, parents of that demographics with, children, with young children and the professional learning team were the teachers that teach that demographic so it's all all really focused <laughs> in families with young children and very experiential we uh, um, expanded the model of Kukan of Dallas etc twice a week and added twice a month twice a year then added the beginning of Shabbat, we called it Shabbat Shamai. We added the Shabbat morning, we increased, uh, we duplicated the times of, of uh, Torah time we had the year before, we used to have only once a month, we increased it to twice a month, which is a brutal increase also budget-wise. And to finalize this whole experience of Shabbat, it starts with Shabbat B'Shemayim, Kabbalah Shabbat, Torah time, Shabbat morning, Hukta to Nadala in uh, ending Shabbat. We're now going this weekend, tomorrow, we're leaving for our Shabbaton first time. I'm working for six years in the congregation for the first time I've had a Shabbaton with the congregation, which is also like to uh, be immersed in the Shabbat experience. So what I brought to you 